Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we have another humble bundle of interest to game developers and the cool thing about this one is it's for Unreal, Unity, and the Godot game engine. It is called the Super Game Assets Bundle. There's over 7,000 assets for Godot, Unreal, and Unity in this bundle. Uh, it is from Lurtest Studio. You're going to notice here a lot of these things are marked as first time in humble bundles. Those are uh, basically, again, first time appearances. And we're going to jump in and take a look at a number of these assets. We're going to look at one in each game engine. So we're going to look at this one here, we're going to look at a Halloween one, and then we'll look at one other, uh, again, one in Unreal, one in Unity, and one in the Godot game engine. You're going to notice by the icons up here which game engines they run in. So this one is in all three, for example. This one is in just one, and I'm not sure what M means, to be honest. Uh, but you see a lot more of these have been ported over to Godot, which is very nice to see. Uh, so basically all three engines for the majority of these environments, which is a cool development. You're also going to find that there's a couple of assets in here that are also available over on Gumroad. I don't know why. It's like three assets that you redeem on another store, but most of the environments, the stuff that you probably care about are available there. So you did not know how this works. Humble Bundle is a collection of stuff. In this case, game development assets, organized to the tiers. You buy a high dollar value tier, you get all the stuff below it. Um, and then one thing you'll notice that has changed is you can no longer send a portion of your purchase to support Game From Scratch. Don't worry, it still helps me. So very much thank you if you do. If you have some problems with the link, by the way, uh, they changed their link structure and you may just have to paste it into a new tab. All right, so let's just jump into the hands-on eye candy portion of this. And we will start things off, appropriately enough, on Halloween. Because today, as I'm recording this, it is Halloween. So there's got this Halloween asset in Unreal Engine. You see the uh, scary pumpkin moon going on in the background there. Let's just go take a fly around this village. So you can see here... Um this one is in an art style, like a stylized art style. Uh, there's a decent number of stylized and decent number of realistic mixes in there. There's a whole 61 total assets in this bundle. So uh, it is a pretty big bundle. But you get an idea of what this particular asset looks like. We have a very uh, glowy turtle going on over here. Some trippy mushrooms. Uh, a cabin. No insides. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, a Halloween village uh, asset. So you got a couple of ghosts around the... Around the village, you got some uh, skeletons in here as well. Again, this one is using a stylized art form. I tried to pick a mix of stylized and non-stylized in my demonstration. But yeah, so this is asset number one. This is the Halloween asset shown in Unreal Engine. Next, we have something a little fishy going on. Yes, this is the port asset. Uh, this one won uh, an award at Unite about being one of the best Unity assets. Uh, this is available for all three game engines. I believe the first one as well uh, was for all three game engines. Again, you see this one running in Unity. Uh, this is an HDRP uh, demo, but you can actually get it uh, in multiple different pipelines. I'll show you how you go ahead and download these things in just a second when we finish the... Uh, the hands-on portion. Again, this particular asset is available for all three game engines as well. No interiors here. Uh, so you got an idea. Again, a port village. Plus, we've also got this uh, Kraken. Uh, this Kraken attacking a ship over here. Uh, very cool um, looking asset, in my humble opinion. So, again, no interiors going on. But um, that is one of the assets running in the Unity engine. And finally, we come to the Godot game engine. So you can see this is the cyber punk rooftop market environment and uh again you just bring it down i'll show you how you load each one of these in just a second but this one you literally just open it up in the godot game engine and it is ready to go so uh, nice good looking rendering uh comes with a world environment configured out of the box uh, for you. You got your sky map all set up and ready to go. And you'll notice all your various different assets are available uh, here, for example, as prefabs ready to basically drop into the scene. And there is a burger. Burger. Whoa, whoa. That's not what I meant. That's what I meant. All right, so there is my burger, like so. Uh, and again, a world environment is being created for you. So if you want to go ahead and change that, for example, if you want to use a different tone map, uh, you can change that over to say Filmic or Aces, get much different rendering results as a result. So yeah, they're available in Unity, Godot, and Unreal Engine. That is a very cool part about this. I like that Lurtest has moved that way. Uh, so now let's go take a look at the bundle itself.
All right, so here we are. This is the Super Game Assets Bundle. Again, there's over a total of 7,000 assets for Godot, Unreal, and Unity in this bundle. You can, again, tell by the picture up here which particular engines are supported. I also have a feeling that if you pick these up, you're going to find later on that, that it's being ported to other environments. So you may get it now. It's not available in your engine of choice. Later on, it might be. By the way, there are also tools out there to move between game engines. Uh, I've done a number of videos on that. I'll link some down below. So if you want to see how to go ahead and uh, export from uh, Unity to Godot or Unreal, Unreal to Godot or you need to Unreal, etc. I have all those things covered, links down below. So here you're getting a number of different assets. The key thing here you're gonna notice is the first times. There's quite a few first times here. Um, so first time, first time, first time. And then uh, they're all kind of in the top tier though. More first times over here. A number of different environments, a broad uh, different amount of things. Uh, some stylized again, so stylized right here. Um, and they are stylized as well. And then we come in down into some sound effect packs and characters down here at the bottom. Uh, fully rigged characters, by the way. Some more environments, mostly environments, and I absolutely love environments here. Again, a handful of these things for some reason are on Gum Road. There's also a 50% off coupon, and there is a one month subscription coupon in here as well. So where do you get these things? Do you get them on the asset stores? No, you get them on Cosmos, which is Lortez's store. You can see this is Cosmos right now. And here, for example, is the Cyberpunk rooftop market. So you're going to notice here, any of the particular assets you find in your purchase library, you drill into one of them, and you can see down here the engines that it supports. So you can see for Unreal, Unity, or Godot, various different versions. You can see the rendering of each one in action, what they look like. Um, by the way, there are multiple images. There, oh, I got to unclick over here so you can see a preview of a variety of different images for that particular engine. I uh, also got some videos showing as well. Uh, but the key thing that you're going to find is you pick the engine you wish. So for example, if I want Unreal Engine, I come down here, I pick Unreal Engine. So Unreal Engine, like so, and then I pick the version. So Unreal Engine 5.4, or if I'm using Unity, I go Unity, and then I pick the version. So let's do 2023, and then I could do built-in HDRP or ERP, and it'll build me the correct uh, version. And then finally for Godot, we switch over here, Godot, you pick your version, although ultimately if you pick 4.3, you're still getting a 4.0 project, by the way. And uh, then you pick, do you want forward plus or mobile rendering? And then boom, you download it. And that will give you, depends on which version you're running. So if you grab a Unity one, uh, it will be a Unity asset package that you import into your project. If it is Unreal Engine, it is a zip of an Unreal Engine project. And for Godot, it is a zip of a .godot file. And you literally just open them up into your tool of choice and you are good to go. So you're gonna find all of your stuff is available uh, over here. Uh, so everything you've purchased will be available on the store. One thing I do find frustrating, I hope that uh, Alert has updates. Uh, this search is for their entire site. There is no easy way to search within what you've purchased, which seems really silly. They need a localized search here as well. Uh, but this is how you grab things again. So if you're interested in grabbing something, you just pick it over here, pick what platform you want it for and download it. The other thing that you're going to notice is um, you're getting studio license here, which means commercial version. Now, one thing that you used to be able to do uh, is export out Unreal Engine and get Unreal Engine keys for the Unreal Engine marketplace. With the move over to Fab, I don't think that works anymore, unfortunately. So uh, for example, this was an Unreal project. Uh, it used to be down here. There was an option here for... Um, exporting, uh, getting a marketplace key. Because they've moved to Fab, that doesn't seem to be a place anymore. So what you do basically, you pick these apps up, you, you create a Lurtis account, and then when you're on there, you basically, uh, there is a redeem code down here. You redeem, you put in the humble code, and you're good to go. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the bundle. Uh, it's a huge amount of content. Uh, again, we've had a number of Lurtis bundles in the past, so there's a good chance you own uh, quite a bit that's here. But even then, if you just look at the, the first times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Looks like we've got 14. 14 assets so far, 15. So 15 assets that have never been here before. Uh, so even if you just look at that, 15 assets or environment assets for like uh, 30 bucks US on the, the top tier, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, also medium price tier here. And then of course the $1 tier here, you're getting pretty much not much. So most people are going to buy the top tier with the 61 different assets in it. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the uh, Super Game Assets Bundle. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I do think it's really cool that they're publishing for more and more game engines, especially, you know, when Unity kind of lit itself on fire a while ago, the asset store became a little unreliable. And now that um, Unreal Engine is starting to do this fab thing, maybe they're a little bit less reliable too. So if they've got your own store, it's cool that you're selling your stuff or as many game engines as possible. So I hope they keep 
porting their stuff over to other game engines. But let me know what you think of this bundle of the assets, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.